What's going on guys here? We're going to go over a simple, actually it's kind of complicated algebra question. And it's going to be a type of question you'll see on the SAT all the time. And I'll show you exactly how you need to approach this question so that you can get the answer just like that. So let's get straight into it. What's up guys? John from Admission Hackers. Quick announcement before we start. You're about to see one of the fastest ways to solve these SAT questions. And I've created a six week program that will train you to solve them the exact same way. Everything is in the video format, so it's easier to follow than your SAT prep books. And the program only covers what's proven to be tested on the SAT to not waste your time and raise your score quickly. Also, I'll be mentoring you personally until you get your target score, but more details in the description box down below. That's it. Let's get to the video. So we have this equation on the top right here. And the question says the formula above is used to estimate the ideal quantity represented by Q of items a store manager needs to order given the demand quantity D, the setup cost per order, which is represented by K and the storage cost per item, which is represented by H. These variables make up this equation right here, which the following correctly expresses the storage cost per item. So storage cost per item in terms of the other variables. And from the question, we know that storage cost per item is represented by the letter H. So we want to express H in terms of the other variable. Right. But you're going to have to you're going to remember that we have seen this type of question a lot. They want you to express something in terms of the other thing. And what are we supposed to do here? It's actually really simple. All you have to do is isolate the first term all by itself. Whatever they mentioned first, you have to isolate it by itself. Now, rather than flat out memorizing what to do for this type of question, try to understand it. That way you won't get confused and it's going to stick with you long term. So let's try to understand what this part is actually saying, right? They want you to show H in terms of or by using other variable. They want you to show what H is by using other variables like D, K, and Q. That's why every single answer choice in the question has H all by itself. Because the goal of the question, what they want you to do is leave H by itself. If A is the correct answer, it's going to show you what H is equal to by using the other variables like D, K, and Q. Does that make sense? So for these questions, our job is to identify the correct equation from A, B, C, and D. And we can do so by rearranging this equation that they gave us. So we have this H right here and let's isolate it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the square root so that we can move H out, which will give us Q squared is equal to 2DK over H. And we'll move H up by multiplying it on both sides. It's going to be HQ squared is equal to 2DK. And we're going to leave H alone because that's what we're trying to do by dividing it by Q squared on both sides. That will cancel out. We're going to be left with H is equal to 2DK over Q squared. That will be our answer. We don't see a root anywhere. We don't see a root anywhere. There's 2DK, 2DK, Q squared. That's going to be the correct answer. H is equal to, no, Q squared has to be the bottom. That's going to be out. So your correct answer is going to be choice C. So if you have never seen this type of question before, or if, if this question is one of your weaknesses, then it might seem very complicated. But when you know how to approach these types of question, when it says something in terms of something and you know exactly what to do, the question becomes really simple. All you have to do is rearrange the equation by following these steps and find out the equation by leaving H alone. And that's pretty much how the SAT is. The question is easy if you know how to approach it, but it's hard if you don't know how to approach it. And your goal is to know how to approach every single question by learning all the concepts. And at first, that might seem impossible and seems like a lot of work to do, but it's actually really not. Because on the SAT, there are only 24 concepts you have to know. And as long as you know those 24 concepts, you're going to know how to solve and approach every single question on the SAT. And the list of those 24 concepts are going to be listed on the SAT Math Accelerator's information page, which is linked down below. SAT might seem like a this scary, complicated, impossible monster, but it's actually really simple if you know how to approach the exam. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you guys found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. What's up, guys? John from Admission Hackers. You just saw one of the fastest ways to solve these SAT questions. And I have created a six-week program that will train you to solve them the exact same way. Everything is in the video format, so it's easier to follow than your SAT prep books. And the program covers only what is proven to be tested on the SAT to not waste your time and raise your score quickly. And I'll be mentoring you personally until you get your target score, but more details in the description box down below. That's it. I'll see you in the next one.